excited to share this with you today. We have been making um, origami paper planes. It is a swashbuckler type of plane. They are super fun to play with. We took them outside and had a blast. Um, here is one of mine. I named them all. This one is Spirit of Humanity. This one is the Art Falcon. And then this one is the Wood Flyer, after my last name. Um, but we looked up an article about um, the 30 most important planes in history and had fun reading about them. I'm going to include that link down below. So if you want to check that out, you can. Um, also, if you're interested in origami um, folded paper art, you should look at more videos because it is super fun. We took these outside and um, had a contest to see whose would go the furthest. So stay tuned at the end to see who won. And also for just some fun video footage of our paper planes in flight. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get started. All right, guys. So one of my favorite things is origami. I love it. If you're not familiar with it, it's um, like the Japanese art of folded paper. The thing that's so amazing is that like you don't cut or glue or tape the paper together. It's just simply folded and then it holds its shape. And so these were three that my daughter made. There's a paper crane, a ninja star, um, and then there's this bunny rabbit. And I actually have another video if you're interested in making a paper crane. It's um, a bit challenging, but you can check that video out if you want to have one where I did beads and like hung it. Um, that was a lot of fun. But today I'll get to what we're doing now is making um, our origami swashbuckler paper planes. And so you can use any kind of paper that you've got at home. Um, I even tried it with a piece of notebook paper and it worked great. Um, I'm using like that thin copy paper. I will say that um, it probably wouldn't work as well with a heavier paper just because heavier papers are hard to fold. Okay, so the first thing that we are gonna do, um, a lot of times when I'm teaching, I refer to this as like a hot dog fold because it goes a long ways and is essentially like a hot dog bun. Like this would be the bun and it opens up up here at the top. So I folded that in half first um, and then I'm gonna unfold it because we just need that crease to be down the center. Now I'm gonna take the top left corner and you'll kind of have to hold this still because if you just do that, it's going to move on you. So use your other hand to like stabilize the paper. Pull this corner all the way down to where it makes like a straight edge at the bottom. Like a straight line right across there. And then crease that. Kind of run your fingers over it to make sure it's folded all the way across. And then we're going to take this pointed corner right here. And we're going to fold it up to that corner right there. And so you might kind of have to put your fingers in the middle to kind of help that fold over. And be careful and take your time and like line it up. Once you get it where you want it, you can put your fingers right there to hold it in place. And then just pull towards you to press that down. And then you're going to kind of go back and forth over that fold really good with your fingers. And this one again too. You want to make your, sure your folds are really nice and neat. Um, okay, so after this, we are going to take this pointed edge right here and we're going to fold it a little bit past this line. So I'm going to kind of use my fingers to fold the paper here and then push it right there, hold it in place, and then press down. And it might be easier. Sometimes you can take like a marker or a pen and kind of roll over your edges if you have trouble pressing them down. That can help smooth them out. Okay, so now that I've got that, I am going to fold this up. So we're taking the bottom line and just folding it straight up to match the top. it down. It's getting kind of thick right through there, so it's going to feel kind of hard to press down, so you're going to have to use some muscle. The thing that's so awesome about um, these airplanes, I tried a bunch of different origami airplanes to find which one would fly the best, and this was the best, so um, it's pretty exciting. Okay, so after you fold that in half, then our next thing is we're gonna fold just a little edge right here. This will be the underneath part of our plane. 
So I'm gonna fold it up and it gets even thicker. And then after you do that, you kinda wanna fold it like back the other way just so it can bend either way. You're not making a new fold, you're just doing that same one kinda going the other direction. So now it can kinda go back and forth like that. So now you can open the edges and fold those down and you have this shape, okay? So the only thing you're missing at this point is the little edges on the wings of the plane. So I'm gonna go in and I just line that up where that little corner meets with that straight line, but you can just pick how big you want your little um, wings to be on the sides. Okay, so there is my little swashbuckler plane. And so I'm just gonna use markers, but you can use whatever you've got at home, whether it's pens or pencils, crayons, paint, whatever. Um, but decorate yours up that way when you race it um, with somebody else in your family, you know which one is yours and have fun picking out a um, cool name for your plane. So now I'm gonna get to decorating. Okay, so I just finished decorating the Spirit of Humanity. This will be one of the ones that we use in our race. So here it is up close. It has the words love on it and then a symbol for all of our medical people who are doing so much for us right now to show appreciation. And then all the hearts because we are sending them lots of love. And now I am going to go ahead and fold my second one and go ahead and create the wood flyer next. Okay, so here is the completed wood flyer. It is now ready with lightning bolts and stars and sky colors, and I've got it labeled. And so now I'm going to make my final one, which will be the Art Falcon. Okay, so here is my finished Art Falcon. And so now I have all three of my origami swashbuckler planes ready to go out and fly to see which one is the winner.
hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks so much for being here. If you'd like to keep in touch, you can find me on social media at Samantha Wood Art. I have an Instagram and Facebook page. You can also check out my website at samanthawood.art and like and subscribe to this video. Bye guys.